Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to participate at this year's United States Council for International Business Leadership Award Dinner. I'm delighted to know that the OECD's Business and Industry Advisory Committee, BIAC, our BIAC, our main source of advice on corporate issues and uh, the central periscope to the world of business, is receiving this award to commemorate its 50th anniversary. I want to congratulate all members of BIAC, and particularly the chairman, Charles Heater. Charlie Heater has been uh, a great force of nature with us here, uh, and uh, he's been a steadfast support in most of our undertaking. And I, I have to say that uh, always uh, supported by uh, Tadahiro Asami, uh, they've been a wonderful source of leadership. I'd like to uh, extend my congratulations to them both in particular. Their leadership, their dynamic drive has really uh, made a great difference. Now there's also a particular circumstance here because after six hard working years as Secretary General, uh, Mr. Asami, Asami-san, as we all call him, uh, will be leaving Biak to go back to Japan. Now, I know Mr. Asami uh, probably about, since about 30 years ago. So when I uh, found him here as the uh, head of the uh, Biak uh, unit, uh, in the, in the OECD, I was uh, very excited, and I thought it was a great coincidence. Uh, but of course, uh, time passes, and uh, I think uh, now that we know that he's leaving, um, we should just uh, take the opportunity to honor his remarkable contribution as a head of BIAC. I personally would like to wish him very good luck, and uh, just asking to uh, keep sharing his wisdom with the OECD so we can continue picking his brain and his network of contacts and uh, his experience. I also would like to congratulate uh, USCIB's Chairman Terry McGraw and his President Peter Robinson. Their wisdom, their strategic vision, they've helped Charles and Asami san make the most of the valuable experiences of US businesses. And uh, that has uh, made BIAC increasingly relevant for the work of the OECD and for the improvement of public policies and corporate governance uh, in not only our member countries, but a growing number of non-member countries that work very closely with us on these issues. Um, let me just mention, for example, uh, uh, the Middle East and North African uh, governments that are now looking at uh, uh, their issues with the private sector and the development of the private sector. Um, so, you know, BIAC is our main connection to the business community. It's our window on the business community. It's the radar and our eyes and our ears. And uh, therefore, its advice helps to ground uh, the OECD's analysis and the policy recommendations uh, in a more realistic perspective. Uh, its, its experience has helped to create a global level playing field for businesses. It has helped to improve the OECD's uh, advice on how to stimulate employment and how to create uh, an investment um, uh, ambiance, you know, uh, uh, a, uh, an atmosphere of, uh, that, is, that is conducive uh, to, to business. Um, it's uh, helped us with the fight against uh, protectionism of, of every kind, trade protectionism, investment protectionism, uh, even uh, foreign exchange protectionism. Um, it's uh, supported our innovation, uh, our green growth uh, initiatives, um, and uh, it's been also uh, telling us uh, how to make the most of our uh, internet economy initiatives, uh, just to mention a few relevant examples. And again, you know, congratulations to uh, BIAC for this award. Very, very well deserved. And uh, many thanks 
to the uh, USCIB, uh, not only uh, for this event today, but also for all the support they've given us over the years, and perhaps more importantly, for the support that they will continue to give us.